All right, guys, here's the uh, premised uh, update. Now, this might be a little bit of a long one uh, just because I'm going to let you guys in the exact uh, procedures that I do now, over here <clears throat> as far as my moving ground units. <clears throat> I'm not going to cut anything. Uh, this is exactly uh, whatever I do. Uh, you see it here. Um, uh, pr pretty much right now, uh, what I'm doing is actually moving over here along the Adriatic coast. Um, <clears throat> my objective is uh, to uh, take the city of Mostar, uh, which is in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, I'm moving those to uh, mechanized infantry uh, battalions. Um, uh, towards uh, Mostar, I'm using uh, the road infrastructure, and of course, uh, ideally, uh, over here we should have some uh, uh, some kind of um, uh, mine sweeping uh, companies uh, or squads or, or whatever, uh, just to make sure uh, uh, roads are not rigged, uh, which they certainly are. Uh, any uh, clearing any minefields and stuff. No, just considerations. You can see those M uh, squadrons here. That's the engineer battalions. And uh, uh, basically, what engineer uh, engineers do, uh, instead of building bridges and uh, building uh, some kind of uh, uh, structures, uh, there is um, uh, they uh, lay uh, land and they lay uh, minefields and uh, uh, rig buildings and stuff. So very very important uh, to uh, to have some some form of uh, demining uh, element there. Now, now moving uh, these guys over here, I'm gonna try to uh, move these guys on the mountain roads. Uh, uh, they kind of auto generated their route. Uh, uh, generally, uh, generally, I will. I like to stay away from uh, those uh, tight passes over here uh, in the mountains and in the hills, so uh, we can get so easily amb ambushed. Uh, no, this is not a this is not a consideration in full effect uh, over here uh, in uh, Falcon uh, BMS because ground units uh, are not so meticulously uh, simulated. Uh, but uh, well, it helps to just be realistic over over here uh, as far as uh, actually managing the uh, ground troops and uh, not get them into any any more trouble that. Uh, uh, they uh, ever need to be in. Uh, now as you can see now e Intel is um, updated over here uh, by uh, uh, friendly uh, flights uh, but pretty much those are the uh, reminiscence of uh, over here the southern uh, defenders. We have a bunch of engineer battalions uh, really as you can see uh, their presence over here intensifies uh, and uh, we have some uh, spec ops uh, what those pack hops uh, do, uh, I am not 100% certain, um, but uh, never, nevertheless, they are present uh, in this uh, uh, area. And now uh, I'm thinking snipers set up uh, uh, sniper positions, to set up booby traps. I mean, really, that's what the uh, that's what the what, what the Serbs uh, would uh, uh, do. I would imagine anyone would do, you know, while being uh, pushed back. Uh, they're just gonna try to delay over here. Uh, movements uh, of uh, these uh, blue guys uh, just to make sure they uh, they move out of the cities uh, and not get caught there. Uh, very uh, very very smart, very resilient and uh, very tough, uh, very tough tough units. I have to say, uh, really. Uh, now those guys are getting tangled up here with the uh, with these infantry. Uh, infantry uh, units there in engineers. I mean, I don't even know what engineers are thinking. Uh, getting uh, going against uh, our tanks. Uh, they must be out of their minds. Uh, really, I mean, they have uh, two BTR uh, 80s and they're pretty much decimated. Uh, you know, uh, except for <laughs> laying, laying, laying a few mines here and there. Uh, there's uh, this is generally no place for. Uh, engineers uh, to be in. Uh, we also uh, have a pretty, a pretty beat up um, uh, the tank uh, battalions as uh, well. Uh, but uh, 
yeah, we're, we're getting a slow and steady uh, movements of uh, our guys and also uh, I would really like to move guys over here uh, to uh, the east because uh, really the whole front the whole front uh, needs to be shifted uh, it really does need to be uh, shifted uh, to the uh, to the east so as you can see our infantry our engineer battalions are also uh, moving into uh, position uh, just to uh, demine uh, and uh, sanitize uh, the paths of uh, uh, movement uh, of our guys. So very very pleased with how uh, the whole thing is set up uh, here. And uh, all those blue dots here, uh, those are some villages and checkpoints uh, over their road intersections uh, that we uh, have managed to uh, secure. Because uh, it's always a good sign. We have uh, here and there um, uh, a few towns and uh, villages that we have skipped, but we're gonna mop up uh, later on, I'm sure. Um, so, so those two, uh, actually, uh, there we are. Actually, the first troops uh, started to uh, arrive uh, over here. Um, I forgot what this thing was. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, this is Tuzla, so we're pretty much. Uh, I would say we are as good as uh, taking a Tuzla, uh, and we're making a steady, steady progress over here uh, to uh, split. Uh, this is actually not split, but this is some um, uh, Mostar. Mostar, yeah. Uh, Mostar uh, in Bosnia. Oh, those really key, uh, key objectives uh, where uh, the enemy could co coordinate uh, his actions from. Uh, yeah, and pretty much this uh, this is uh, I'm leaving the, the clock on X64 uh, just to uh, get everything nice uh, and uh, fast. Everything moves good uh, uh, and always uh, also trying to babysit these uh, uh, um, uh, a little battalions there and divisions uh, I think we're on division level at this point yeah we can actually switch to battalion level I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna uh, reveal a lot more now these guys are getting bogged down here which is something I really don't uh, like uh, and really this is what uh, what those uh, scramblers over here uh, are uh, doing uh, they are delaying a friendly uh, movement uh, now the campaign is set up uh, this way because uh, now our uh, I would say the success of our uh, air operations is pretty pretty definitive uh, we managed to <coughs> and remember uh, uh, at least I uh, focused on engaging ground units so I can say from my perspective that the air campaign was uh, pretty uh, successful uh, and also, uh, I know there were guys, guys that were doing OCA strikes, uh, some NATO forces. I know there were some NATO forces dedicated to uh, uh, to uh, uh, close, uh, combat air patrol. I know those eagles, and you can see those eagles. You can still see those eagles. Uh, they're patrolling the, in the skies, and they are uh, constantly shifting uh, their station uh, areas. <coughs> So we're very uh, happy with that. Pretty much all all round success. I've, I've never heard of uh, uh, any uh, uh, heavy heavy casualties. Uh, uh, um, you know, as far as airframe airframes go. Uh, so um, uh, plenty plenty happy with that. Uh, we have any we have some artillery assets. Uh, that we could also uh, move uh, uh, close over here along those uh, uh, perimeters uh, here and you can see actually uh, uh, the uh, HQ, uh, several HQ and several uh, infantry battalions are popping up uh, here uh, so as we as we're pushing them closer and closer to uh, to to Serbia and over here to the Serbian border, I think that um, uh, they're gonna get more uh, more and more uh, fanatical. 
the uh, Yugoslavs. So I'm kind of thinking actually uh, launching a few more, uh, a few more maybe cast sorties. And those are uh, the Spec Ops guys I was actually telling you about and what they actually have. Uh, as far as weaponry, it's not too much different than any infantry battalion really. They have AK-74s. Uh, they have some uh, some sort of anti-tank uh, infantry uh, operated uh, 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 missiles, and, and they have also the SC-14, SC-16 uh, man pads. Uh, so uh, they definitely have the potential, and uh, the potential of being uh, uh, dangerous. Uh, we definitely have uh, development over over uh, here as far as uh, spec ops and uh, infantry uh, goes. I'm going to stop the clock right here. I just want to take a better look uh, at things. Um, yeah, this is uh, something that we definitely need to work on uh, over here uh, near the village of uh, Kaunik. Uh, we uh, have, well, actually not at package, but uh, we have at least a couple of, oh yes, definitely a couple of armored uh, armored uh, battalions. So this is uh, definitely a location that I would like to schedule some airstrikes to. Uh, and I don't think uh, this is, uh, the uh, this region over here, I don't think it's going to be a, a problem of taking it, and it's just a matter of holding it. Actually, most are reinforcing over here uh, the mountain uh, passes. Uh, this also, I wouldn't think uh, this is a problem. Tuzla, uh, let me just see if we have control over Tuzla. ST should be here somewhere. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Dozla, there we go. We have control of Dozla. Uh, and we're just about uh, to control uh, Mostar as well. You see, this, uh, these guys are uh, just about to walk or to drive from into a uh, Mostar. Now, uh, we have uh, s uh, several leakers over here. Those are uh, some uh, uh, some uh, contacts here and there. Uh, but uh, really, I mean, if, if we have a good presence in this area, there's nothing to uh, there's nothing to uh, worry about. So I'm gonna uh, probably schedule a few more uh, <clears throat> strikes over here in this uh, this uh, region, and just wanna uh, pick this exact. Uh, exact region. Uh, come on, this is the city of Kaonik. Kaonik. Uh, yeah, so the city of uh, Kaonik uh, uh, holds some uh, enemy uh, positions. Uh, and um, this is where I'm going to strike. Uh, uh, this is where I'm going to do some uh, strikes. So, guys, this is pretty much it. Uh, just uh, as uh, things uh, move forward, I'll wait uh, f uh, more updates. So, thanks for watching. Alright, guys, there we are, uh, and uh, things are heating up there. Uh, I've had uh, some uh, problems here with uh, uh, with uh, this uh, uh, Hornet, Charlie Hornet squadron. Uh, essentially, they, they kind of launched a four ship sweep uh, over here to the to the uh, east uh, inland and kind of that pretty much um, uh, ran me out of uh, airplanes. So I was able to uh, task for uh, strike uh, packages, so I'm not not gonna wait for uh, those guys actually to uh, to uh, to have an avail availability uh, on airplanes. There, I'm just jumping into different squadron. Uh, a returning command of uh, this uh, Hornet squadron over here back to uh, back to uh, the AI and uh, I'm uh, taking up uh, on this ninth uh, fighter squadron now these guys are flying tornado jets uh, they're flying the IDS 
uh, version which is the ground attack version of the basic tornado uh, jet uh, <coughs> so very 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 excited to actually fly this bird because because they haven't uh, flown it at all uh, this could be an Italian uh, it certainly is an Italian uh, uh, jet uh, as you can see you can also yeah okay so uh, what I'm, I'm doing here uh, is uh, uh, picking uh, this pair of tornadoes uh, and I'm uh, uh, also arming up with uh, the AS of 34 missiles now those are 325 pounds of forehead uh, and uh, apparently uh, from what I read uh, on the uh, uh, on the weapon uh, it's uh, actually designed to engage surface uh, vessels uh, so I'm hoping to get good effects uh, there uh, with uh, those uh, guys uh, apparently we also have their uh, TGP uh, that, we, uh, that we're gonna use for visual ID very uh, very handy indeed we didn't have those uh, with uh, with the Hornet, uh, but then again we were employing weapons at much uh, longer ranges. Now on the plane, yes, those guys uh, the S-34s, they don't have a, a, they don't have a uh, huge range, uh, really, uh, it's actually pretty short range, uh, you know, considering I'm going against an SA-10 target, uh, it has uh, a 70 nautical miles range, and remember guys, we talked about ranges there, this is an absolute maximum range, 70, so I'm expecting probably 10 or 11 uh, nautical miles, uh, uh, range. Now, uh, what we don't want to do, uh, uh, we certainly don't want to get within 7 nautical miles range because then we're going to be within visual range and they can actually acquire us uh, with the visual means and uh, I'm, they're pretty much going to shoot us down at, at this range. So, uh, I would actually round this uh, out to about, I'm actually going to upward to about 8 miles. So, 8 miles from, tar from target is it's certainly uh, something we don't want to uh, go closer uh, then and also uh, so what I'm expecting here ideally should be 15 miles uh, it's pretty close to max range this is what uh, our weapon release point is going to be 15 miles from targets probably 12 miles from targets uh, and remember from 12 to 8 that's 4 miles and 4 miles is going to go so so quickly uh, that's, uh, so we have to uh, be extremely cautious of that uh, so I think uh, what I think I'm gonna do uh, is actually uh, uh, leave my wingman hanging, uh, probably uh, uh, probably up uh, 20 miles from target, and is gonna uh, do this orbiting. Uh, I see if I can get him to orbit actually uh, on the same uh, around a certain spot there, and <clears throat> I'm gonna go in, uh, release uh, one, uh, ideally two missiles, uh, and. <clears throat> then um, uh, I'm gonna try to stay out of this uh, eight uh, eight miles range. I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna put some more separation. I'm gonna launch uh, the other uh, two now. Uh, uh, the carrier is out of commission. It's uh, uh, presumably sunk, and uh, all we have to worry about there is the cure off and the force over many uh, cruisers. Now uh, this is pretty much the plan. I haven't employed this. Uh, uh, a weapon now the Italians say uh, actually the specs say it's um, uh, it's uh, yeah it's uh, um, the uh, yeah it's uh, made uh, basically to it's designed to engage surface ships on you know, surface uh, vessels so we're gonna see how it goes where it's uh, the same uh, uh, weapon uh, mechanics is uh, uh, is the harpoon. Uh, also, uh, something to note here is something pretty important is uh, we uh, we are pretty pretty uh, close to the target, so we're not going to be picking up any. Uh, uh, we're not going to pick a huge altitude here. Uh, we're just going to keep it low because uh, really, really we have to. Uh, we have this uh, SA-10 uh, threat uh, right out there. All right, yeah, that's pretty much uh, it. Uh, now we're keeping it low. Uh, we have uh, we have about 70 miles, if I'm not mistaken, uh, 70 miles to target. Actually, a little bit more. Uh, whoa, uh, actually 100. So yeah, once we uh, start hitting uh, here to 60 mile mark, we should probably 
be uh, getting uh, low and I'm also hoping that uh, uh, we're gonna have uh, <laughs> we're gonna have uh, good um, uh, good uh, firing solutions so again I haven't fired this missile actually tried to do that before I started this uh, campaign but I actually uh, was uh, pretty negligent on uh, on the information I uh, I received and I was employed on ground targets but apparently it's not made for ground targets uh, what it's made for is um, uh, indeed uh, seagoing uh, vessels now I just want to make a quick check there uh, to make sure that we actually don't have the Maverick no we don't have a Maverick because we don't have pretty much don't have any alternative uh, there and also decided not to uh, carry uh, wing tank so we already have 11.2 uh, uh, on uh, board now uh, we have uh, uh, yeah that's pretty much uh, it now just to clean uh, the jet of uh, those things I don't know what those things are probably some self-protection uh, jamming or uh, whatever uh, but uh, we're gonna clean ourselves up just want to conserve fuel and I also uh, um, uh, tasked now uh, three more TASMO fights so just uh, so we go in first and hopefully we uh, take out this uh, threat uh, the SA-10 threat and then the other guys come in I've tasked one over here to the northern uh, patrol boats and over here to this uh, patrol boats uh, area uh, and one more just to hit the uh, on the same target as we uh, are flying against but just to hit the uh, these are many uh, cruisers the remaining cruisers are undoubtedly moving over here uh, in position to uh, challenge uh, ground uh, troops challenge ground targets from uh, remember those, those uh, have uh, naval cannons and they can actually uh, use those na naval cannons to engage uh, ground uh, targets so uh, we want to make sure there uh, that uh, we have uh, troops uh, here performing uh, their duties uh, which they uh, do. Alright guys, so this is pretty much uh, the plan. Uh, we're going to see how it goes uh, with this uh, uh, missile. Now the other uh, the other option uh, is uh, to go back to Amendola uh, <laughs> uh, Air Base uh, and um, uh, pick one of those uh, uh, F-16s, uh, right? Uh, uh, and use one of those Gulf Mavericks. Uh, but uh, it's a longer flight and I just like to try the tornado out so uh, let's get into the air see how this thing goes Rider, right, 902 uh, clear for departure we're picking, uh, picking speed up uh, heading over uh, to target for make sure I shoot my rounds of dolly there uh, <coughs> and it's gonna be a uh, uh, steer uh, 6 Alright, Spirit 901, hold short. Uh, I want to prep everything up here. Spirit 91, inbound for landing. Uh, sure. Good evening, uh, Spirit 9, runway 16, right. For the uh, target Two, area. F1. Uh, we're picking some speed up. Uh, pretty good, it's a twin jet. Uh, the tornado, a lot of trust there. Mm. Uh, 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 very, uh, very, very good. Uh, hopefully number two is up. Yeah, he's airborne. Okay, there's my target, uh, it's over 100 miles. Yeah, we can uh, actually get some uh, low res pictures over here. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Now, Yeah, well, the way I see it, I know the front front most uh, ship that might that, that might be Kirov. So I'm gonna let uh, number my number two. I'm gonna wait for him to, to rejoin. Uh, I'm gonna sort uh, some targets around. Uh, and I'm gonna most likely let him after uh, this guy over here. 
uh, which is the nearest uh, targets, most uh, most direct approach there. Uh, the one to the left and behind of the Kirov, that should be one of the sober mini boats. Uh, so quite naturally, that's going to be number two target. Uh, I might actually, <laughs> I might actually let him, let him switch sides over there to the uh, um, to the right side. We're going to see how it goes. Rider nine two on my way. And the wind so uh, again a factor from two in position uh, from the south fourteen miles. Uh, okay, two in position. Actually, uh, I'm blind on him. Uh, yeah, there he is. Oh, Darko, I'm gonna let him. Uh, I'm gonna let him uh, fence out. We're gonna uh, fly the whole thing uh, fenced out. Two so fence actually, out. So I can actually reference uh, him better. Uh, I'm gonna let him uh, let him into what I'm actually uh, thinking here uh, for target um, uh, targeting. I'm gonna let him target this guy. Two Wilco. And I'm gonna target this uh, guy uh, uh, in the front of uh, this uh, formation there. Uh, so I'm keeping those uh, guys part off for now. Uh, and uh, the and, uh, missile parameters, I'm keeping him to medium scan area and to skimp uh, maneuver uh, on all four uh, stations. All right, and this is the last station there. All right, pretty cool. Uh, did you just do a quick check? All stations indicating uh, correctly. Uh, so within, um, yeah, uh, when we're closer in there, I'm gonna be trying. I'm gonna push for 70 miles, uh, and there we go. Uh, immediately, uh, we have some uh, <coughs> some uh, radar emissions. There's some going low. I'm locking my guy up, so the um, SCR can actually calculate uh, for any movements uh, uh, on uh, this uh, target, uh, so we, we can get we can get much more precise. Uh, so I'm going uh, down low. I'm gonna pierce those uh, clouds there. We, we just got we just got feet wet when we got painted uh, by enemy radar. Altitude. Uh, Altitude. As you, can, as you can see, very, very high threat, very potent, uh, very potent uh, SAM uh, system. And shallow out uh, here. Uh, we just popped out of their uh, radar. Uh, we're gonna go even lower, probably 500, 700, uh, 500 is good for now. I'm gonna keep my uh, 500 um, MSL. Uh, throttle goes uh, up, we have 9.4. I can actually go on uh, the fuel. Uh, actually, uh, go ahead. Uh, keep track of the fuel. Uh, all right, we're uh, below their radar uh, in this range, uh, which is quite uh, typical. I'm going to be doing my pop up there, uh, probably at 17 miles. Again, very, very dangerous. Uh, I'm hoping this is going to be uh, 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 enough there. Uh, just squeeze all, all, all the missiles off uh, and. Uh, to be able to uh, to to escape this area, uh, and uh, again, just a quick reminder: uh, probably five minutes behind us, we have next Asmo flights going to be operating over there uh, to the north, and in five five Ritter. minutes, five minute intervals, so we have some Tasmo flights fighting here. Uh, again, uh, pretty important. Uh, and I can keep a uh, track actually of uh, the range. Uh, okay, that's three bruisers. Bruiser. 
Okay, four bruisers. Rejoin two. Rejoin two. again. Ryder, uh, nine two. On my way. Uh, it actually, it's indicated as AGM 84, which is kind of weird. Uh, this is certainly not. This is certainly uh, not age, <laughs> not AGM 84. Um, and you don't want to treat it as such. Uh, well, 50 miles from target, uh, coming in low. Uh, getting ready for a pop up, and also uh, keeping Cat eyes out. Uh, keeping eyes out for any uh, enemy fighters. Uh, keep an eye on two as well. Should be out there somewhere. Uh, so I'm letting those uh, missiles fly, fly low as well uh, to their target. They're going to be uh, scheming. And those are number two missiles. You can see all four. Uh, all assuming their uh, attack trajectories. I'm uh, pretty much uh, doing their, their thing. All those dots there. You can see lighting up this number two missiles. So I'm wondering if, if you kind of shot at uh, 20 miles. Probably did. Uh, I know sh uh, ships are back up. Uh, which means we're a little bit harder than we actually should be. So going in. Uh, going in lower there just to slip uh, beneath the radar. 40 miles, we have some uh, quite some time to go. Uh, I'm not taking any chance. I'm sure no four missiles at, at a single target. I want this guy taken out. And again, you see, <laughs> you see automatically uh, the wing geometry doing its business. Uh, you know, depending on uh, speed, depending on altitude, <coughs> uh, it moves around and calculates. Uh, 36 miles. Uh, we're still beneath their radar. We're still some uh, distance ahead. Uh, I'm going to switch my uh, missiles on now. Uh, and we actually lost lock, but it's okay. I'm going to pop up there uh, just to reacquire. I'm going to have uh, much better resolution. Two in position. Okay, this is uh, good. I'm relying on two to keep good separation because I'm going to be preoccupied now. Just uh, just uh, completing this uh, attack uh, there. Uh, this is the last location where I got any contact whatsoever. I'm gonna just make a, a quick pop up, just 28 miles under. Uh, we have uh, something, and there, there's my guy. I lock him up and go back down. Very gentle, uh, very gentle maneuvers you have to make, especially uh, at night uh, to actually not uh, hit uh, the water. Uh, 27 miles and keep an eye on those uh, guys. Uh, it's very hard to see outside, of course. 170 feet over the water. Uh, 410 knots in pitch darkness. One of us is on. Uh, just waiting for a good, a good launch solution. Uh, at 70 miles, I'm going to start. Probably 18 miles, I'm going to start my pop up uh, there. Or 20 miles. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, I'm starting to pick some sh uh, ships up. We can do our pop up there. We can actually blast those guys off. Come on. That's one away. Come on, come on. Two away. Come on, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Come on, baby. Uh, 
Okay, it's no go. Cat flare. I'm gonna make a. I have two missiles away. Cat off flare. The target there. And dip below the radar. Again. And I'm gonna be very careful when uh, doing those turns here. 60, 60 feet. Over the water, don't overspeed the jet. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna re engage, I'm gonna go at least 20 miles uh, separation. Now they know where we are, but uh, there's no way they're gonna, uh, they're gonna launch fighter service, right? Uh, so we have this <laughs> working for us. Uh, Uh, okay, that's that's an absolute SAM launch. Cat flare. Uh, what we want to do is turn west there. Uh, of course, be below the radar at all times. I'm hoping to is doing uh, the same thing. Uh, those uh, SAM launches. Uh, I would like. I would really like those guys to be uh, spooked up. So, be very very careful when I actually uh, look around. I can see my missiles. I can see my missiles traveling to target. I'm putting those cars, uh, guys, um, behind me. Um, I'm just about 20 miles. I'm gonna turn in. I'm gonna turn in. Now they, now they know where we are. And they know uh, our general location. They're gonna engage. They can see too, and they're gonna engage us uh, well, with a greater degree of confidence. I want to do this level turn nice and easy. Don't drop any altitude there. I'm sharing this thing nice and easy. I'm locking this lead ship, ship up. I'm going for my next release. Come on. Let's uh, run away. Let's run more away. I'm turning off this uh, target. I'm going to get one real quick flare. and uh, keeping an eye out uh, for uh, this general location in case we have any uh, SAM launches. Now we're clean config, we can actually go full burn. Uh, look at what we have here. Uh, I, I got four hits and the cure off is destroyed. So this is one threat, uh, one massive, massive threat really uh, eliminated. Uh, so now we can <laughs> breathe a lot easier. Uh, however, two missed, and I I, I know why that is, uh, because actually he shot according to his HUD indications, uh, which is entirely normal. Uh, uh, but actually, those were HUD indications made for uh, made for uh, the Harpoon missile. Not uh, not for the Cormoran missile, not for the S-34. Uh, so we had hard data over here. We knew uh, that we could expect 17 nautical miles is uh, pretty much the range we could expect uh, as a maximum range for this missile, and I release pretty much 15 or or even below that. Uh, and uh, it was good. Uh, all right, so that's a uh, Kirov eliminated. Uh, and moving on here, uh, we actually uh, went as far as uh, eliminating this uh, thing as a threat because remember, I, I had some uh, other Tasmos uh, in the area, uh, in particular this Tasmo 0202 uh, that's uh, hitting the suffer many ships. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, the uh, uh, the suffer many uh, ships don't uh, have. A uh, huge amount of uh, air defense. Of course, I could be uh, mistaken. Uh, it's actually a destroyer. So over many uh, destroyer uh, armament. Yeah, it's pretty much unknown. But as far as uh, air defense, they have some AAA. Uh, but really, I mean, that this is not a this is not a factor. Uh, and we know now, and we can actually get uh, uh, get the tornadoes uh, up close there. Uh, and really, uh, really uh, ruin it uh, for those guys. So I, I would say this is pretty much threat, uh, and that threat is dealt with. 
Now, all we have to do uh, really uh, at this point, just keep an eye out. Uh, do not get uh, uh, some nasty surprises over there in the Adriatic. Uh, uh, and I'm really going to uh, do uh, uh, this just to get uh, command back uh, to this uh, uh, squadron to the AI. I'm going to go back over here to the ground units. I'm going to go back to managing them. Uh, I'm going to uh, start referencing some uh, uh, objectives in there and uh, start uh, taking uh, actually not start but to continue uh, taking some uh, key objectives and I don't imagine uh, there are a whole lot more uh, to take probably two or three uh, more uh, uh, cities uh, and we should be good uh, we should be good to go okay guy, uh, guys on this one are uh, there, uh, there should be another update uh, come in. I'm very, very happy to uh, greet you uh, here because indeed we have uh, completed this uh, balance of um, power uh, campaign. Uh, I promise, guys, you haven't missed um, uh, a bit what I've been doing actually moving ground troops around, uh, scheduling some uh, uh, closer support flights. Um, and this is pretty much it. Now managing waypoints of ground crews, managing um, uh, movements and uh, uh, maneuvers. Uh, as much as uh, the BMS actually uh, uh, a ground campaign interface uh, allows it. Uh, so um, uh, uh, we have accomplished a huge feat here. Um, now uh, we managed to uh, we managed to actually uh, clear. Uh, the most part of uh, of uh, Bosnia uh, and any uh, troops over here and the rem remaining uh, troops uh, enemy uh, troops are really uh, some uh, reminiscence uh, of the uh, uh, infantry uh, that um, um, occupied uh, uh, Bosnia and those guys are uh, pretty pretty beat up and are retreating towards the east uh, towards uh, Serbia. We also have a couple of tanks, the 62 tanks over here, also on their way uh, to Serbia. Uh, we've managed to uh, drive uh, the Yugoslavs um, out of uh, all the major cities there. Uh, and uh, we have, uh, pretty much I have captured all, all of the objectives, uh, really. Um, uh, so uh, uh, that completes uh, the uh, campaign. Uh, now, um, you know, if I look back just a little bit, uh, I can uh, I can tell this was a pretty intense one, uh, and I have I had to actually do uh, all sorts of um, all sorts of mission. I don't think I have ever flown a campaign where I had to do uh, such a huge variety uh, of uh, uh, missions. Uh, we actually, if you remember, we started we started with uh, Tasmo uh, over here in the Adriatic. Uh, we then moved to a close air support uh, mission. We moved to uh, we uh, did some interdiction uh, missions, and, and this is pretty uh, predominantly what I did there. The ground crawl uh, was my main uh, main uh, um, role. Uh, was my pretty much. Um, uh, main uh, mission type over here mm -hmm. in uh, this um, uh, uh, campaign. Uh, I also managed to uh, shoot several uh, bandits uh, uh, down. Uh, it's actually, uh, let me see if I can um, uh, find uh, myself pilot. Uh, we should be over here, Moxie. There, there is Captain Moxie. Uh, and it's gonna show me what I actually uh, splashed. Uh, all right, this is not right. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, flew nine missions. Uh, in total, uh, mission rating was good. Uh, I got territory. I got ten kills, so that's a double ace. Very good. I got uh, one hundred and one. Uh, no less. <laughs> there to ground kills. I also uh, destroyed seven ships 
in a one stationary target. Uh, I don't remember uh, which uh, uh, that one was. And, and you have to remember that was just when the uh, 225th I jumped uh, across many uh, many uh, squadrons. Uh, and I can remember the uh, Ljubljana uh, squadron was the 25th. I flew uh, Vipers there. I also flew Vipers over here out of Mandela of the uh, east coast of Italy. I also flew uh, tornadoes. Uh, so this is pretty much all uh, I uh, flew uh, in uh, this uh, campaign. Three types of air, air airplanes. Uh, uh, actually I would say four because uh, those two Viper blocks were quite, quite different. Uh, four types. Uh, or you know if you're more, if you're more comfortable with uh, with it, three types and out of uh, four different air bases, four different squadrons. Oh, actually, uh, yeah, actually, uh, uh, we also I also flew this uh, Hornet out, uh, out of uh, the uh, this uh, carrier group. Let me just pay my respects over here and see how these guys are called. This is the Roosevelt, okay, uh, the uh, Roosevelt uh, carrier. Uh, great, great guys, really, uh, and actually. Managed to uh, to sink my first uh, enemy carrier with uh, uh, with harpoons, uh, flying off uh, this uh, uh, Roosevelt CVN. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is pretty much uh, it. Uh, again, a very a very uh, resilient enemy. Uh, the Yugoslavs, the way they're set up over here uh, in this book, is yet a very a very tough, uh, very. Um, uh, very smart, I think, uh, in the way they uh, use uh, their equipment. I'm very happy with it. Now, uh, I think uh, that I'm going to, uh, yeah, well, actually, I'm uh, quite certain, uh, you know, uh, that I'm going to be starting the Powder Cat campaign next. So, guys, really uh, stay tuned uh, for that. So, uh, actually, the main focus over here uh, of Falcon is, uh, of course, the uh, Air Force. Uh, now, I know what really uh, has to be said about uh, the uh, the Air Force. I mean, we, uh, we prefer, as you can uh, quite clearly see, we performed uh, pretty admirably because uh, uh, just uh, just uh, under a week. Uh, Let's let's call it a week. Uh, so uh, in a week we managed to purge uh, the Yugoslav out, uh, Yugoslavs out of uh, uh, Bosnia. So we managed to clear pretty much all Bosnia. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, this was uh, uh, to a huge extent uh, uh, thanks uh, to uh, the Air Force. It really uh, brought our casualties count uh, way way low. Uh, so the Air Force uh, pounding on the enemy, uh, uh, you, you know, uh, saved a lot, a lot of guys. I would like uh, to imagine a lot of uh, friendlies out there, and this is really what it's all about. Especially those uh, close air support missions, those interdiction missions. Uh, this is their main main uh, goal, uh, just to protect uh, friendlies. Now. Uh, <coughs> Uh, pretty happy with uh, 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 pretty happy with uh, how all the uh, uh, different types of missions were flown uh, by our guys. We made heavy use of um, uh, our choppers, as you, as you can see, all kinds of uh, choppers, in, uh, uh, namely over here the Apache, the attack choppers uh, did uh, pretty uh, pretty well. Now uh, I didn't see too many choppers. Uh, uh, you know, with the uh, Yugoslav markings, uh, so uh, they kind of moved away uh, from uh, this uh, tactic. Uh, and really, uh, this is pretty much it. Now uh, we encounter uh, some mix, uh, but they're under. They were undergunned, uh, and I would also imagine they were uh, just a little bit uh, under. Uh, I don't know how I should say. Yeah, there were there were less in there were less in numbers uh, in some key uh, key areas into uh, the air. So again, I don't want to get into this because I'm really not sure. <laughs> I'm really not sure there uh, entirely what I'm talking about. Uh, we encounter some mix. 
uh, and pro over here to the north uh, predominantly uh, mid 29s we also had some uh, 21 activity uh, over uh, here so I would say they uh, they did what they were supposed to do they scrambled up uh, they intercepted the uh, friendly flights uh, and uh, uh, yeah, this, this is pretty much it. And I would like to think that did they, they were uh, pretty skilled pilots. Uh, I have no, I have no information about uh, their skill level. Uh, but we managed to cope uh, with this uh, enemy air threat uh, pretty, uh, pretty uh, decently. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is uh, pretty much it, uh, guys. Now. Uh, Again, uh, the, uh, the Power Cat campaign uh, comes in uh, second, uh, actually not second, comes in third uh, in this uh, Balkans uh, theater. Thank you very much guys for sticking through this one. Hopefully I haven't bored you uh, too much. Uh, and uh, again, just uh, drop me a line wanna, uh, if you want to schedule uh, a flight uh, with me, uh, if you want to fly together. Uh, fly some uh, uh, custom missions, some custom uh, stuff uh, there you want to try out. Uh, you know, I'm always up for it. Uh, and if you want to fly uh, some of these uh, campaigns uh, here with me, guys, just uh, uh, yeah, just drop me a line on your favorite uh, uh, show show network. Uh, it would really help you if <laughs> I'm using that social network uh, as well. So that will be uh, yeah, either, either Facebook or Google Plus. So just drop me a line on the uh, comments uh, under those videos. Uh, and uh, I will respond to you guys. I would really love uh, to uh, hear from you. Maybe you have some comments. Maybe I did something wrong. Uh, and, um, I think I... Uh, 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 did something wrong, or you have any recommendation, really, uh, or you may maybe want to see uh, something, maybe you want to see kind of um, uh, something in a particular done here uh, with uh, some type of aircraft or with the Falcon, uh, whatever you guys um, want to see, I would love to get your uh, feedback. So, again, thank you very much, uh, guys, and stay tuned.